Hello, welcome to IT Security Labs. And I just wanted to thank those who have subscribed. We have reached more than a thousand subscribers, which is amazing. So today I'm going to answer two questions that a lot of people have been asking me, both here and in other social media platforms where I post my videos. People ask me, how is your home lab set up? And what is the easiest way to set up a home lab? And the second question is, how do you use your home lab to learn now that there's a lot of things out there to learn? So I'll answer those two questions today by showing you the ways that I have my home lab. My home lab is in three parts. I have VMware Fusion, I have a VMware SXI, and I have one in the cloud. And they all serve different purposes, and I use them on different times when I need different things. So today I'll be showing you those three environments and explain how I use them. Some people might use these things differently, but hopefully that will help someone out there. The second part, I will explain to you how I've used my home lab to further my career and also use it as a learning tool that I've actually enjoyed, that I spend a lot of time in, and I will hope you'll find value in this if you stay until the end. So the first thing that I use my home lab for is uh, in VMware Fusion, as you can see right here. VMware Fusion, I have a free VMware Fusion from VMware through the VMware VXPET program, so I have to disclose that, but you can pay for this, and I use it for my uh, malware hunting, so this Hunter VM right here is when I play with malware, it's an ex a network that's not connected to anything out there, it's just right here, it's a local network, it's local to VMware Fusion, that's why I like that. I have Security Onion, which I really love, and I'll be creating more videos if you subscribe to this channel. I love Security Onion. It's one of the best tools out there. And then I have Kali. I always like to have my Kali up to date, local. I don't want to be dealing with performance issues, which is why Kali is right here on my VMware Fusion. And of course, Metasploitable. There's a few tools that I've been playing with, some skills that I'm learning in IT security, which is why I created this channel. So. I like to be able to just spin Metasploitable and just play with some tools that I'm learning at that time. The other thing that I use this InfoSec folder right here is I do go to Vaunhub. Vaunhub is a website where you can go and find vulnerable machines. With these machines, I'm literally, I can just download a machine, upload it to my VMware Fusion and start hacking my way out of it. I, I mean, I just try to get the passwords or whatever the objectives are. As you can see on this page, there's a lot of new machines that gets me excited. I can't wait to actually download one of these and start playing. So that's what I use my VMware Fusion for. The other part that I use my VMware Fusion for is to learn. As you can see, I'm running Red Hat certifications. This is my certification that I'm getting right now. It's needed for my employer and it's also good for my InfoSec career. So I run it locally on this machine because I take this machine everywhere I go. And it's good to have a book and actually be able to spin these machines and follow along. And I'm actually planning on getting certified and I'm also learning about uh, Red Hat. And I use that at work, so I need it, which is why I have it right here. So that's what I use uh, VMware Fusion for. In addition to VMware Fusion, I also have a lab in my house. It's running on physical gear. I'm running VMware ESXi. Again, um, I'm part of the VMware VXPert program, so I do uh, get these licenses for free, but VMware is free for everybody. And in addition to that, VMware is, free, is the most dominant uh, software out there for uh, visualization, and it's actually being used by a lot of employers. So if you want to great career and a great future in IT, just go on uh, some of the job posts, look up VMware and you know that a lot of employers are using VMware. And if they're not, they're using something similar. So I do use VMware because I have free licenses. I'm also planning on using KVM and Overt, if you have heard of that, uh, because of you know what I've been playing around and what I've been working on. But I do use VMware. And in VMware, I've managed to create an extensive lab that is uh, different networks like my home, IT management, and all that. But in it, I have my nested ESXi cluster. 
on this single server with 96 gigs of RAM connected to an external NAS with 3 terabytes, that's actually after RAID, that's, that's like 12 terabytes on the actual drive, but I did put RAID to protect my data. So it ended up being 3 terabytes, and as you can see, I'm getting close to that. I'm able to virtualize ASXi inside ASXi to play with different VMware capabilities. It's amazing. And uh, I'll, if you are interested, let me know. I will be able to share that information with you. In addition to that, I am also hosting like a domain controller. As you can see, it's named DC. I created this a while ago while I was learning, like seven years ago. And I've maintained the same domain controller and just improved it, which is why it's named DC. This is where my Grafana environment also runs, as you can see, which is the same as this one. So that's my home setup. It's a physical server. It's running on uh, ESXi, and I'm nesting a lot of things in here. In addition to that, I also have Meraki gear for my network. I have Meraki switches. I have an MX65 for my firewall, which I can actually show you right now. So as you can see, my whole house runs on Meraki. I'm running it, uh, I have a, a Meraki appliance, I have a Meraki switch, and I have an access point, Meraki access point. I was lucky enough to get these and also uh, have them set up very easily. And this is just me following the industry standards. Meraki is a growing brand out there. They are really taking over the um, access point and all this stuff. They're getting cheaper. They're been getting cheaper than a lot of things. So I just wanted to learn more about Meraki and I invested in getting all this Meraki gear. You can attend some Meraki webinars out, out there and if your job allows, you can play with this kind of stuff. So I have Meraki for my uh, networking. I intend to move away from Meraki once my licensing expires because I don't think that I should be paying for all this money. But if you want to learn more about Meraki, go ahead and attend their webinars. They will send you an access point, a switch, and everything that you need depending on whether you qualify or not. The last part that I... My last lab that I have is I run it in the cloud. The cloud that I run is running on uh, Amazon AWS, and this is through Ravelo Cloud. Ravelo uses either Amazon or Google, depending on who is available. And you, as a home lab owner, you don't even need to worry about where you go. Just sign up with a Ravelo, and they allow you to visualize things like... As you can see right now, this is a lab that I'm running, a VMware lab. This is a NAS server that's providing storage to my VMware ESXi host. These three down here, host 1, host 2, and host 3. And I also have a vCenter and a domain controller. And in addition to that, because I really love PFSense, I threw in PFSense instead of the regular Ravelo router. And as you can see, I can sign into my virtual machines if I can do it, Ravelo vCenter. This is vCenter showing me host 1, host 2, and host 3. And as you can see, if I go back, these are the three ESXi hosts. So I can technically spin virtual machines in the end of this host. I can put these three virtual machines in a cluster. I can and play with a lot of like uh, vMotion and all those VMware features. I can put these three virtual machines into a vSAN and they can share the storage, the local storage and the NAS storage in a vSAN environment. I can play with vRealize Operation Center. I can even play with networking. So there's a lot of things that I can do here. And just to give you an idea, there's a few applications or labs that I've created out here. For my Cisco CCNP, I did spin up a lab right here with all these routers. If you're interested and you're running a CCNP, I can share this uh, with you. There's also a template out there that you can just uh, get into your Ravelo. I also used um, Ravelo for other things. As you can see, these are all my labs. Like um, if I wanted to test some security, I spun this lab, which somebody already created for us. So these are my three labs. I have one on the cloud in Ravelo. As you can see, this is Ravelo. I have another lab right here in VMware Fusion. 
which I'm using for my radiate certification and for my InfoSec impromptu stuff. Then I also have a lab at my house, which runs on a single server. This used to be seven servers back in the day before uh, all this came along. Back in the day means five years ago for me, before I realized that I can virtualize a lot of things. So that's what I use my lab for. So how does that help me in my career? I use my lab targeted based on whether I'm running for a certification. So right now, I'm going for a red for red head certifications. I do have those uh, labs right here that I showed you that I'm actually playing with on a regular basis. I also use it based on what I'm using at work or what I what skills I think I should be learning. I believe that I need to be learning a lot about security. I'm a network engineer. I owe it to my employer and everybody that I work with to know a little bit about security. So if there's any security features that I'm playing with, like uh, Cisco Umbrella or Firepower, I need to be able to spin up a lab. Even if I cannot spin out a lab, I call the vendor and say, hey, can I learn about this? So they'll give me a demo, for example, or they'll spend an hour with me. So my lab is usually a place where I sharpen my skills, I learn what I need for my current job, and also what I need for my future job. So right now, my goal is to end up being 100% network security person. I do like penetration testing, and I also enjoy network security, being like an in-house person. So those are the two things that I've been playing with. I do a lot of uh, hack the parks and the other, you know, phone hub machine kind of stuff. But in addition to that, I also enjoy monitoring an environment for an employer and actually providing that value which is why i also have a, this series about grafana and i enjoy seeing how networks behave i would like to know baselines for networks and all that stuff so those are the things that i use my lab for and those are uh, that's how my lab is set up so if you have any questions or if you have any concerns let me know in the comments and i know there's a lot of things that i can do so if you have any suggestions for me Please don't feel bad. Just go ahead and uh, let me know in the comments below. I enjoy learning about IT. And if there's anything that you're doing that I should be hopefully learning, just let me know. Otherwise, subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys in the next videos. We'll be setting up our own cyber range like I promised from the beginning.